Uh, hello, Your Excellency. Morning. Welcome to the Vatican Show. Nice to be here. <laughs> so we're here to talk about uh, some things that's happening uh, and, and with your vantage point yeah? uh, sure. as the uh, British High Commissioner um, in Malaysia. So the UK recently has you know, this, this, this new coalition government, which I think many people have not seen in, in such a very long time. Uh, what do you think Malaysians uh, can expect from this new government, given the kind of economic scenario that, that is afflicting uh, the UK? As well, I think in, uh, I think in particular, uh, what can maybe students and, and business people uh, look forward to or be cautious about? Okay, well, I mean, you're right. It's a very new government and they've only been uh, in, in charge for a relatively short period of time. But I think you've seen from the very early decisions taken by the government that the uh, the big issue for uh, uh, Mr. Cameron and Mr. Clegg is tackling the, the budget situation. Um, they've inherited a fairly weak position um, and uh, we are faced with a significant uh, debt and deficit problem. So I think number one uh, issue for them will be trying to get that under control. And that will have repercussions right across government. Um, uh, there was already uh, in the first few days of uh, the new coalition a, an announcement of cuts to the tune of £6 billion pounds, and every single government department, including the Foreign Office, the British Council, has had to make a contribution towards that. And there will be a further budget um, in the next uh, couple of weeks where we'll see further uh, significant reductions in government spending. So I think that that uh, will have repercussions uh, for the way in which we engage both domestically and internationally. But I don't envisage any major shift in our international stance, uh, certainly not as far as Malaysia is concerned. Malaysia is an old friend of Britain and I think will remain a good friend of Britain. I think just two things perhaps. One, thing, one, one point that the government has made a, a, a priority is engaging with um, uh, Asia, engaging with emerging powers like Malaysia. We see Malaysia as an important power, an important country. Uh, it's a country with which we have a, a very strong trading and um, investment relationship. It's a country with which you have a defense relationship, a strong political relationship. Uh, so I think you'll see the, uh, the new government in the UK engaging with Malaysia um, as it will with other emerging powers. And what do you think um, maybe, you know, uh, just normal everyday people like, like myself mm -hmm. and, 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 and young Malaysians uh, who, who do think of, of the UK as, as a, uh, one, one important destination for education, mm. for example, what do you think, how do you think this might affect? I don't think there will be any major change. We haven't detected any significant shift which will impact on Malaysia so far. There will be some tightening of our immigration regime. Uh, one of the um, uh, things the government has said, for example, is it will want to improve the quality of English uh, for students going to the UK to study. But that's not a problem for Malaysians. Mm. We, we don't see any significant issue there. We think that uh, uh, it will not have any impact on, on Malaysians going to the UK. There may be some other tightening up which we haven't seen yet, but I would guess that we will remain a, a country which uh, will want to take Malaysian students. We have 12,500 12 Malaysian students in the UK now, and I think that will continue to be a priority of the government. Also a priority will be helping to promote further education links with Malaysia. Mm -hmm. One of the interesting developments over the last few years has been the way in which British universities and British schools have been looking to establish a presence here, a physical presence in Malaysia, and I see no reason why that shouldn't continue. Uh, Your Excellency, um, the, the second question that I'd like to bring up is uh, you've been a, a High Commissioner here for the last four years. That's right. And after this, you'll be um, you'll be going away at the end of July. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what do you think are the kind of things that you've seen in Malaysia that that's developed over the last four years, which I think you think is a, a very positive change, and and also, if you were to come back in, I'm I'm sure you would make a trip back at some point. I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 in a hypothetical situation, say ten yeah. years down the line. What are the kind of things that you hope will, will remain the same and what do you think would have maybe um, changed for the better? Or Well, I think one thing which won't change is probably the basic friendliness and hospitality of the Malaysian people and the food, probably. Uh, uh, <laughs> one of the things that uh, I find a challenge, and we all as, as foreign diplomats in Malaysia find a bit of a challenge, is the, is the, is the need to eat every two or three hours. Uh, and the fantastic variety of food has been one of the, the major attractions of Malaysia. We've loved being here. We've had a fantastic time. We've been uh, very well looked after by our friends and have made lots of very good friends here in Malaysia. And I'm sure we'll be back in, in future years. I suppose from a professional point of view, 
Um, what has been interesting is the uh, the further opening of the Malaysian economy. Mm. Uh, we've seen uh, a gradual but um, a clear uh, uh, sense of direction uh, in terms of liberalising the economy, and that's been to the benefit of the UK, and I think it's very much to the benefit of Malaysia as well. We've also seen a, a willingness to uh, increase the uh, service sector, and again, UK companies are likely to, to come and, and uh, engage here in the service sector, in financial services, uh, in uh, education and training services, in retail services, in insurance services, and we'd like also in, in legal service, that's one area, in fact, we'd, we'd like to see some further opening. So I think that will, will continue. We very much hope it will continue. And I think that will provide the basis for the next phase of uh, British trade and investment relations in this country. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, if you were to go, right? I mean, you, you're, you're, you're leaving. What well, I will go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and come I, back in five, ten years' time, what will be different? Yeah. Well, I think, I think the... Uh, the Malaysian psyche will probably not have changed. Mm. Um, I think that uh, Malaysians will uh, remain uh, friendly and um, they will still look to Britain as a, as, as, a, a, as a friend and partner. I think that one of the things perhaps surprised me was that despite the fact that we are the, the colonial power, um, there is no animosity or hostility towards the UK. Mm. Um, I'm not saying I, I expected it to be a hostile environment I was moving into, but I, I wouldn't have been surprised if there was some uh, slight negativity towards um, a country which was uh, the mm -hmm. former colonial power. I felt almost none of that here, mm -hmm. and I, I don't see that changing over the next few years, and I think that's a great thing. I think that um, we'll continue to have very strong, warm, uh, both government-to-government -government relations and lots of very, very strong people-to-people -people links. Talking about people-to-people -people links, what kind of food do you think you'll miss most? Made by oh, I love all the Malaysian food. I love uh, no, everything from nasi kanda to laksa to uh, <laughs> beef rendang, I would say. Okay. Beef rendang is one of my favorite dishes here. Okay, the last most important, to some people, question, Your Excellency, is yeah. uh, how do you think England will fare in, in the World Cup? Well, I speak as a, as a neutral party here because I'm a Northern Irishman myself. Uh, it was quite amusing. I had to go to a, 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 a World Cup event recently and I had to put on an England uh, football shirt. And that was the first time in my life I've ever put an England football shirt on. I did it for Queen and Country. Uh, I, uh, I felt somewhat strange, uh, but it's one of the things you've got to do as a High Commissioner. I do support the England football team, not least because in our little draw on the High Commission, I pulled out England as the winner. So I hope they do well. Okay, well, thank you so much, Your Excellency. <laughs> not at all. Thank you for being on the show. Nice to see you. Thank you.